I'm Yvette Rogers, Outreach Coordinator for Celtic Colors International Festival. Over the years, I've been so fortunate to travel to almost every corner of Cape Breton Island to work with some remarkable people who help make their communities what they are. This summer, I traveled around the island and met up with some folks along the way. Join me on a road trip and explore some of the unique communities and vibrant cultures that make this beautiful island the home of our hearts. The northwestern coastline of Cape Breton Island features a beautiful windswept landscape as the highlands rise from the ocean. So begins the climb into the Cape Breton Highlands National Park, which is a mecca for hiking and exploring in all four seasons. On the doorstep of the National Park is Shedekamp, one of several communities in the region that is home to the many Acadian settlers who have maintained their culture and living traditions. I met up with Jolene, director of Le Conseil des Arts, to talk about her colorful and vibrant community. So, um, we're a not-for-profit um, organization. We've been around for about 20 years, and we're an art center, but we also do everything else. Uh, we also run the farmer's market, the community gardens, and uh, what we do in our art center, we do a lot of teaching. And we do it through, uh, a lot through the youth programs. So, through dance, through music. Uh, students probably start around four years old. And when they're about 12, then they become teachers to the younger, and it kind of continues that way. So, and then we do a lot of productions during the summer. We uh, kind of grow our own. So the technicians, the light um, tech, they're youth, they're teenagers. So um, kind of everything, they, they learn, they teach, and then they, they work for us, pretty much. So we kind of grow our staff, and uh, we do a lot of musicals and dance performances and theater performances. And we also host Celtic Colors and um, different um, shows that want to come uh, rent our space. Le Conseil des Arts runs Le Place des Arts Père Anselme Chesson, a state-of-the-art theatre that has a working relationship with the adjacent school and is also home to community-based dance troupe La Swing du Souhait. Music and dance are part of everyday life in Shedekamp and also a must-see for visitors. But most visitors that come to Shetty Camp, they come for two things. They come either because they, they love hiking, they love sports, they love to be in, uh, you know, going in the water, or they love music. So everybody who comes to accommodations, where can I listen to live fiddle? Where can I go to a Kaylee? Uh, where can we listen to music? That's the number one thing they want. So on the day they're hiking or they're whale watching or eating lobster, but every night they want that. They, they, they know, they've done research or they heard about it. Uh, yeah, so they want fiddle, they want music, they want to dance, and um, that's pretty much everybody who comes here. So it's we have to, yeah, we have to keep teaching the youth. We have to keep uh, feeding um, that love of music to a, a new generation because it's it's amazing. And people who come here just can't believe how they'll be like, oh, what music school do you study at? And the you know the 13 year olds like, no, I don't study music. I've just been playing you know, fiddle or guitar or singing at a non-for-profit organization, but it's so natural. And um, they'll, they'll ask us, they'll be at the dorm and it's like, everybody's tapping their feet at the exact same rhythm as the fiddle player on the stage. How do, how do they do that? And for us, it's just natural because we've been listening to fiddle music our whole lives and our feet just automatically go to the beat, but they can't do it, but it's okay. But they're just, just, just for them, it's, you know, Anyway, it's just, I think what we have here is very special, and we just have to keep feeding that. The Acadian coast is home to artisans and craftspeople of many kinds. Rug hooking and folk art are popular art forms in the area. Another long standing cultural tradition in the region is Mikarem. La Mikarem is a unique and playful annual custom that takes place mid-Lent. At this time, many people wearing masks and disguised from head to toe visit their neighbors who try to guess their identity. And when the guessing game is over, the Mikarem unmask and enjoy a treat before heading to their next destination where the games begin again. The museums and galleries in the area are an opportunity to explore the region's culture and heritage but it's also good to get outside to take time to explore the natural beauty of the area. So 
perfect day, I wake up, we take the kids and we go bike riding. There's so many trails and the mountains and the back road. So I take the kids out, we take the doll, we go biking for about an hour and a half. There's a local coffee place called the Frog Pond Cafe. We'll go there, grab a lemonade for the kids, a coffee for me and dad. In the afternoon, um, there's a lot of local beaches. So what we do is we'll hit the beach, uh, probably the sandy beach in the afternoon, Plage Saint-Pierre. And then what we do to finish off the day, a beautiful day in Chalet Camp, we will go to the Butreau, which is a rocky beach and it faces the, the highlands. And we make a fire there. And I'm not saying this to be like a tourist picture. We actually do that. We had a fire. We, last night we were actually there having a fire. And uh, we have the kids, the kids can swim till about 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock at night. We have a fire, we have food, and then the sun sets in the ocean on this side of Cape Breton Island. So, and then we just watch the sunset uh, go into the ocean, and that's what we do every, almost every day. Well, Jolene, thank you so much for sharing your time and your insight with us today mm -hmm. and your love of this beautiful community. We really appreciate it. Merci, and come anytime. There's something heartwarming about visiting a place where the natural beauty of the area is appreciated by those who live there, as are the customs and traditions, a place where culture is such a natural part of everyday life.